Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Nightcrawlers, the role-playing game. If you haven't seen part 1 of my review featuring this splatterpunk, black hack based horror role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to take a look at 5 of the Brutes. These are the sorts of characters that you can create in this role-playing game. We start with the Created. Created are constructs made of dead or non-organic matter that has gained or been infused with sentience. Created are tough and intensely strong, but keep them away from fire and crowds. When it comes to your hit points, you are very sturdy, you have a lot of hit points. You also deal good damage and you are unliving. When it comes to edges, you start with the Olympiad Edge this allows you to break stuff, throw stuff, push stuff quite easily. And a power die of d4. Your die is restored after charging yourself with electrical current. We will talk about edges and more game mechanics in a future part of this review. You have special features such as dense flesh. You start with one armor point that never decreases. This can stack with worn armor. You are immune to damage from electricity as well. When it comes to drawbacks, you have things such as agoraphobia. You roll with disadvantage on all actions when in intense large crowds. All of these different brutes, when they level up, they have a chance to increase their stats, but they also gain an edge of their choice or they increase their power die by a step. When it comes to your origin, maybe you are an alchemical homunculus, or perhaps you are molded from clay. When it comes to trinkets, maybe you have a biker jacket, or perhaps a dead flower. You have tables to randomize the different origins and trinkets for each of these brutes. Then we have the demon. Demons are originally from one of the skinlands, having fled to earth a long time ago to escape their Fomori masters. Demons love to live to excess, but they still must obey when they are called on. When it comes to your stats, you have decent hit points and you deal decent damage as well. You are unliving. When it comes to edges, you start with the mask edge. This allows you to take the shape or form of another individual. And a power die of d4. Your die is restored after corrupting or tempting mortals. When it comes to special features, you have things such as demonic form. You have an inhuman true form that you normally hide with your mask edge. While not using mask, you have wings that grant flight, just like the edge. When it comes to drawbacks, you have things such as true name. You must obey commands given by a person who speaks your secret true name. A successful gut test allows you to resist. When it comes to origin, maybe you were summoned by magic. Or maybe you are a possessed human. When it comes to trinkets, maybe you start with a cigarette case or a nail file for horns. Then we have the fairy. Fairies are spirits of nature who once dominated the world, but the rise of iron and Disney movies push them into hiding. They are tricksters and assholes, don't expect the good neighbors of myth. When it comes to your starting stats, you have low hit points and your damage is acceptable. You are actually a living creature unlike the two other brutes that I talked about. When it comes to edges, you start with the glamour edge. This allows you to manipulate what someone else sees or hears. And you have a power die of d4. Your die is restored after pranking or tricking a mortal. When it comes to special features, you have can't fool a fool. You roll with advantage on tests to influence others and resist mental and emotional manipulation. When it comes to drawbacks, you have iron allergy. You take an extra die of damage from iron when it's used as a weapon, against you of course, but you also suffer 1d6 of damage if you touch iron. When it comes to origin, maybe you are fairy blooded, or maybe you were swapped at birth. When it comes to trinket, Perhaps you start with a Celtic knot bracelet, or a piece of goblin fruit. Then we have the ghost. If a person dies with unfinished business, 
they may return as a psychokinetic impression, also known as a ghost. Most ghosts are hung up on the past, and only a few travel far from their fetters. When it comes to your stats, you have low hit points, and your damage is acceptable. You are unliving. Concerning your edges, you start with the incorporeal edge. This allows you to, well, normally it allows you to become incorporeal, move through solid objects, interact with incorporeal beings as well. But because you are a ghost, it works the other way around. That is, you solidify. You have a power die of d4. Your die is restored after causing fear via touch. Concerning your special features, you have ectoplasmic. You roll with advantage on flesh tests to resist paralysis and petrification. When it comes to drawbacks, you have things such as fetter. You have an object or place that anchors you to life. If it is destroyed or exorcised, you must make a gut test to bind to a new fetter or be banished to the skinlands forever. When it comes to your origins, maybe you were killed violently, or maybe you just wasted away. Concerning your trinkets, maybe you start with a book of modern slang, or perhaps with an old wedding ring. Then we have the gilmen. Gilmen are aquatic humanoids said to have been around for centuries. Gilmen look pretty normal, but you can see the sea on them if you look close enough, especially those fucked piranha teeth. When it comes to your stats, you have decent hit points and decent damage. When it comes to edges, you start with the glass edge. This allows you to deal a lot more damage and a power die of d4. Your die is restored after causing pain or destruction. When it comes to your special features, you have things such as amphibious, of course. You can breathe underwater and roll with advantage on physical tests while submerged. When it comes to your drawbacks, you have shock vulnerability. You take an extra die of damage from electricity. So make sure that someone doesn't throw a plug toaster into any body of water in which you are swimming. When it comes to origin, maybe you crawled out of a sewer or swamp. Maybe you are a lab experiment. When it comes to trinkets, maybe you start with a Hawaiian shirt or perhaps with a reusable water bottle. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we're going to take a look at the other brutes. I really like how these brutes have different features to them that add to the background history of the character when it comes to the origins, the trinkets, but you also have those special features, edges and drawbacks that have mechanical effects as well. I only mentioned a few of them. When it comes to the creative, you are supposed to be playing as a powerhouse. You could be the muscle of the group. When it comes to the demon, you also have some utility in combat, but you also have some useful abilities for exploration, for example, your mask edge to blend in with the crowd, or perhaps if you want to fly and get a better view of a place, that's also pretty useful. When it comes to the fairy, you are great when it comes to manipulating others with your glamour edge, with your can't fool a fool feature. So this is a character that excels in social situations or social interactions, or even if you just want to trick someone in general. When it comes to the ghost, this is a perfect character to go through physical obstacles, but this brood is also perfect to interact with incorporeal beings, even if they are friends or enemies. And the Gilman in general is going to be pretty useful in combat, and when taking alternate routes, usually through sewers, lakes, rivers, and you normally look pretty human. So I would say that this brood is pretty balanced when compared to the other brutes that I talked about. Thank you for watching this part of the review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending drive through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.